Question 6. DS. John purchased 80 iPhones for $30 each. Of the iPhones, N are sold for $40 each, and the rest are sold for X amount of dollars each. If the gross profit from the sales is $600, is X less than 30? Condition 1. N is greater than 60. Condition 2. N is less than 70. Solution. Now we will solve this DS question using the variable approach. Let's apply the three steps suggested previously. The first step. Modify the original condition and the question to suit the type of information given in the conditions. Case 1. Generally, the original condition has statements that can be converted into equations with variables. We have learned that the question is king. That is, if the question's range includes the condition's range, the condition is sufficient. This is the second most important theory in inequality DS questions. Be sure to remember this. This is explained in more detail in lesson I-14. We have to find out whether X is less than 30 if John purchased 80 iPhones for $30 each and he sold N for $40 each and the rest for X amount of dollars each resulting in a gross profit of $600. Now, total sales is 40 times n plus 80 minus n times x, and total cost is 80 times $30, or $2,400. So the equation for profit is 40 times n plus 80 minus n times x minus 2,400, which equals 600. This can be rearranged to get 80 minus n times x equals 2,400 plus 600 minus 40 times n, or 80 minus n times x equals 3,000 minus 40 times n. So, x equals 3,000 minus 40 times n over 80 minus n. And we are trying to determine if 3,000 minus 40 times n over 80 minus n is less than 30. Now, 80 minus n is positive, so we can cross multiply to get whether 3,000 minus 40 times n is less than 2,400 minus 30 times n. This can be rearranged to whether 3,000 minus 2,400 is less than 40 times n minus 30 times n whether 600 is less than 10 times n, or whether 60 is less than n. By simply modifying the original condition and question, we have made this question an easy one. Let's look at condition 1, which right away gives us what we are looking for. That is, n is greater than 60. The question's range contains this range. We get always yes. Unique answer. So, the condition is sufficient by CMT1, which means that the answer must be in terms of a unique yes or no. This is a precise solution. Remember that Q is K. Question is the king. Condition 2 tells us that N is less than 70. Now the question's range does not contain this range. If N is 65, the answer is yes while if n is 40, the answer is no. So we don't get a unique value, and the condition is not sufficient. Therefore, the condition is not sufficient by CMT1, which states that if you are getting both yes and no from the same condition, the condition is not sufficient. Condition 1 alone is sufficient, so A is the correct answer. As shown above, in case 1, the original condition has statements that can be converted into equations with variables. Answer A.